Hi, I'm Leslie Huffman, Apple Specialist with the Ontario Government. In this video on high density apple orchards, I'll show you how to train the newly planted apple tree for the tall spindle system. Our goal is to grow a tall, narrow tree with a straight leader up to the top wire and a fruiting area well exposed to the sun. The ideal nursery tree will be at least five feet tall, preferably six to seven feet. This tree will have an abundance of healthy roots and a dominant straight leader, six to 10 feathers that are six to 12 inches long, feathers that are distributed along the leader at regular intervals, the lowest feather at least 24 inches above the soil when the tree is in place in the orchard, no broken branches or leader, and moist roots and no insect or disease damage. Pruning the new tree is discouraged. Tying and training are more useful to encourage the tree to grow calmly and produce fruitful feathers. This is very different from planting conventional orchards when new trees were planted as whips and severely pruned to encourage strong growth. Remember that each tree in high density orchards has a much smaller space. For year one tree training, follow these important tasks. Do not cut the leader. Plan to return after bud break to remove competing side shoots if needed. Remove broken or damaged branches. Remove any feathers lower than 18 inches. Look at the diameter of the feathers and remove feathers that exceed 50% the diameter of the leader. This is critical to preserve the dominance of the leader, especially in ambrosia. Leave a short stub to encourage a renewal shoot to develop tie down feathers to below horizontal. Tying can be especially effective with high vigor cultivars like Spy, on more vigorous rootstocks, or in the highest density plantings. And finally, install the support system at planting and attach the tree to it to prevent wind whipping and root damage. Removing the effect of wind will encourage early cropping. Remember your goals for the first year tree. Grow the leader as tall as possible, hopefully reaching the top wire by year two or three. Tall leaders maintain dominance over the tree's growth, encouraging calm growth and early fruiting. Encourage feathers to grow at least six to eight inches so that the tree fills its allotted space, protecting the leaves from diseases and insects so they can feed the tree. Establish an effective rooting system for moisture and nutrition needed for large crops. Ensure that soil test shows adequate levels. Water the trees regularly and deeply so roots explore the entire soil profile. And set fruit spurs and initiate flowers for early cropping. Feathers on nursery trees and early growing feathers in the planting year should be able to carry some crop in year two. Remember that apple trees begin initiating flower buds in July, so the tree needs to be well established by then. This early training is a major change from our previous practice of heavy pruning at planting, which caused the trees to grow vigorously and produce stronger wood. In today's high density plantings, the tree's energy is directed to growth toward the top wire and producing many feathers that will crop early.